Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be using C++ to print this right facing arrow. So I have a blank like C++ program and just a main function. And in this function we're going to ask the user for an integer for like the body of the arrow, in this case it would be the zeros, and then one for like the head of the arrow, in this case it would be the ones. So the first thing we need to do, we need to get user input. So we could define two variables, we could say int, uh, let's say int head and then int uh, body. You say cn head. And then cn body. So now we're asking the user for input for two variables. And now we, we have that, we can actually start printing them out. So we could do c out. And then there we could print uh, the first one. So the first number is separated by five digits. So we could do five digits. We could do one by five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And then after that, we have the first number, which would be a part of like the of like the head. So we could do head. We could end it with the new line. Okay. And the next line is pretty much the same thing. It just has one extra head variable. So we could literally copy and paste it. And then after like the new uh, after the other head, we can just add another one, and then also end it with the new line. So we have these two like lines covered. This next line is actually different. So we could do C out. We're gonna have that empty space, so it doesn't think we want to add them up together. And then it wants five of the zeros, and the zeros corresponds to the body. So we could do body, body. Body and body, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we have three of the heads. So we could do head, 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 and then with the new line. Okay, so now we have this line right here. The next line is the same thing, it's just adding an extra one. So I'm going to copy and paste that and into here. Do an extra head which in this case corresponds to an extra one. And this next line was the same as the previous line, so we can literally copy and paste that. So now we have this line. This other line we already did, it would correspond to this one, so we could copy and paste it. In the last line we also did, it would be the first line we did. Copy and paste that. Let's get rid of the dot. And after that, if we run our program, we should be done. And we could enter the numbers we want. Ooh, it's asking us for a number. We could do one. One would be the head, which would correspond to the head of the actual arrow. And then zero would correspond to the body. And that's our actual arrow right there. And it just helped you all leave a like and subscribe.